Today I'll be discussing the importance of heart rate sensors in the design of a device that is meant to monitor the symptoms of congestive heart failure. The first step is to discuss how congestive heart failure affects the heart rate. Shown on the screen now is an example of the average heart rate and the target heart rates by age group. Cardiac output is the amount of blood your heart is able to pump in one minute. The problem in heart failure is that the heart isn't pumping out enough blood each time it beats, which is also known as having a low stroke volume. To maintain cardiac output, the heart can try and beat faster or increase your heart rate. Eventually, the muscles of the heart can stiffen or weaken, which decreases their ability to contract, and the heart begins going into congestive heart failure. This means that the heart is working less efficiently than normal, and due to various possible causes, blood moves through the heart and the body at a slower rate, which means that the heart rate drops, and the pressure of the heart increases. As a result, the heart cannot pump enough oxygen and nutrients to meet the body's needs. From the information provided, it can be concluded that a heart rate sensor is important to include in a device meant to monitor the symptoms of CHF. The heart rate monitor would be designed to allow for the user to monitor their heart rate over the course of the entire day. It would be comfortable enough that the device could be worn at night. The device would provide alerts if the heart rises over the maximum average heart rate as this indicates that there is a problem with getting the blood circulated throughout the entire body. An alert would also be sent if the heart rate falls below a certain threshold, which would indicate possible heart failure. The sensor would compile the data in order to determine if there were any irregular heartbeats that would indicate that there was a problem with the heart.